Hello friends, I'm George, the nice medic gentleman. Welcome back to the channel guys, I hope that all of you are doing well. It's time for your daily dose of some fragments content and if you're wondering what I'm holding up in my hands, what are those huge boxes? Well, all three of them come from the brand of Arabiat Prestige and are part of the Hamdan line. They are called Hamdam the Hero, Hamdam the Brave and Hamdam the Sheikh. So today I'm going to unbox all three of them and I'm going to try them out. Now to be honest, I'm not sure what to expect out of all three fragrances that I'm like tr trying out today. Some people say that uh, all these are inspired by original designer and niche fragrances. Others say that uh, this, uh, all of them are actually original creations. So I'm not too sure what to expect out of them. But the first one that I'm going to try out to the, today will be called uh, Handam the Brave. Now all three fragrances come packaged in these quite huge and heavy boxes. This is the way that the box of Handam the Brave looks. It's in black color with golden accents. All three I think are opened up for the same in the same way. These edges here are magnetic and then you pull the, this part of the box out like this. Now this is this box came a little bit damaged. Uh, unfortunately I couldn't find a production date anywhere on the boxes themselves. But the one interesting uh, thing is that the bottle size of all three is 75 milliliters, a bit of an unusual uh, bo bottle size and the concentration of all three I think is EDP. This is the way that the bottle looks, a blacked out uh, bottle with again golden accents, a plastic cap that's a snug fit, a nice secure click. Let's check out the sprayer and see how Handam the Brave from Arabiat Prestige smells. Nice atomizer, not pressurized though, unlike some other members of the, uh, you know, Arabiat Prestige lineup. Okay. All right, so. <laughs> immediately after spraying, uh, you know, Handam the Brave, what I pick up is strong Dior Sauvage Elixir vibes out of this fragrance. But it doesn't feel like a straight up clone, it feels more like a, quite a heavy twist like a more citrusy uh, twist on the DNA of uh, Dior Sauvage Elixir. Definitely somewhere in the background you get that, those aromatic uh, you know, notes of uh, the original fragrance, the lavender, the nutmeg, you know, those spices that the original fragrance has, the woodiness of the original fragrance, but this feels a little bit greener and feels a little bit more citrusy. It's still spicy but not as spicy as the original fragrances. This has a lemon note for sure in here, there's a cardamom note. Um, what I also pick up something green like a geranium note. It's quite heavy on the citruses in the opening, but again somewhere in the background lies uh, the backbone of Dior Sauvage Elixir. And this is actually quite an interesting scent. I didn't uh, expect this one to smell like uh, Dior Sauvage Elixir. Definitely smells nice though and very very high quality. Okay, so uh, Handam the Brave actually turned out to be a heavy twist on the Dior Sauvage Elixir. The next one in line that I'm going to try out will be Handam the Hero and uh, I already went ahead and unpacked the, the fragrance itself, the box, and I actually found the production date and uh, all three of them actually have the same production date. It's May of 2024, so some more of a recent bottles. Again, exactly the same bottle design but different color combination here. You've got uh, silver, gold and blue colors with uh, this one, with Handam the Hero. Again, magnetic edges. You take out the bottle in a very similar style, a very similar way. Let's take out the bottle itself. And the bottle has exactly the same bottle design, but it comes in this uh, blue color uh, glass and golden accents. Again, the same cap plasticky cap which I think has actually a slight metallic coating on it, feels quite heavy and a snug fit. Again 75 milliliter bottle size, EDP concentration. Let's check out the sprayer here. Very similar sprayer to the other one, not pressurized unfortunately. Okay, this is actually something very very fresh and citrusy. Feels a bit woody feels uh, a bit musky as well, an ambery sweetness in here, but definitely something quite fresh and uh, you know uh, quite bright in the opening, maybe a hint of spices as well, something like a black pepper note. 
it's a uh, bluish type of sentence. The bottle is actually, you know, giving you giving us some, uh, you know, um, clues at what this might smell. A very fresh, very uh, light, very easy to wear fragrance for sure. Quite citrusy, slightly spicy, slightly woody, musky, a bit of uh, ambery sweetness in here. I'm not sure what this is uh, cloning, if it's cloning something or has been inspired by it, but in a way this smells similar to something like Aqua di Gio, like Aqua di Gio Profumo, Profondo, you know, in this kind of style, but I can't say that it's uh, very similar to something uh, at least that I've tried, uh, you know, in my fragrance journey so far. But definitely smells something very fresh, very easy to wear in the summertime. It actually smells quite nice, again the quality here seems to be a uh, top top notch. Hamdan the Hero. And the last one that I'm trying out today, Hamdan the Shake. Again, exactly the same bottle design, uh, box design and in fact the color combination here compared to uh, Hamdan the, the Brave that I tried earlier is almost identical. This feels like, a, you know, the black color seems to have a slightly bluish tint. Other than that, very, very similar. Again, magnetic edges and the bottle design is very, very similar here as well. But here the you know the, the bottle itself has this sort of a greenish tint and it's more transparent compared to the first one. Again, a plastic cap with sort of a metallic coating, uh, a nice secure click. Let's check out the sprayer of uh, hand on the shake. Very similar sprayer. And let's see how this one smells. Okay. This smells like Dior Sauvage Parfum or something along those lines. Not a straight up clone of Dior Sauvage Parfum but definitely carrying uh, the, the OG, uh, you know, Dior Sauvage uh, DNA, that scent. It's slightly spicy but it's also quite warm. There's a hint of freshness in the opening, maybe something like a bergamot note. But this feels more woody, feels uh, sweeter, feels even slightly musky as well. Vanil a vanillic sweetness in here for sure. A hint of tonka bean, sort of a slight powderness. Some spices for sure. Slightly uh, sort of peppery, but also quite quite sweet and woody. Again, it's not like a, a one to one clone of a Dior Sauvage Parfum, but something done in a very similar way. Uh, you know, like a su sweeter and slightly fresher take on uh, the scent of Dior Sauvage Parfum. But again, definitely smells very, very nice. Uh, the quality here on all three seems to be top notch, you know, as good as it comes from the, you know, brands from the Middle East. And at the end of the video, just a quick few words about the early dry down of all three fragrances. I've given them about half an hour to just settle down so I can quickly go over the early dry down. Again, starting with the uh, Handam the Brave. This in the early dry down still smells as uh, something like it's close or being inspired by Dior Sauvage Elixir. But again, not super, super close, not a straight up clone. This feels sweeter. It feels, uh, you know, more citrusy. It feels fresher and the lighter, less spicy take on the Dior Sauvage Elixir scent definitely smells very very nice and it's a very interesting heavy twist on the Dior Sauvage Elixir scent uh, profile and it really smells nice all three actually smell really really good the next one is uh, of course Handam the Hero this one still remains quite a fresh and citrusy fragrance but on the early dry down uh, you know there's a uh, quite a strong vetiver note with this scent and I'm not too sure what this is uh, really reminding me. Again, distantly reminiscent of something like the Aqua Di Gio line, having this freshness, uh, maybe slight aquaticness to it, but not super close to that one. And especially now with that strong vetiver note on the early dry down, this, uh, this smells very, very interesting. And at least uh, on top of my head, I cannot come up with something that smells uh, very, very similar to Handam the Hero. But again, another really a uh, high quality scent that uh, in my opinion can be worn pretty much all year round and the last one of course is uh, Handam the Shake this one is reminding me of Dior Sauvage Parfum but again not straight up clone of Parfum like having a twist 
maybe having uh, a little bit fresh, a little bit more freshness than uh, you know your Sauvage perfume. Maybe feeling a little bit sweeter, slightly more balsamic take on the Dior Sauvage Parfum DNA. But this one again also smells very very nice and actually is uh, quite a uh, sort of a versatile uh, masculine scent. That's probably going to be a crowd pleaser. All three of them have really really nice quality and I'm going to check their performance over time and at some point I'm going to do a full review of all three of them. And so guys, in today's video I unpacked and tried for the first time three fragrances from the brand of Arabiat Prestige and the Handam line. And they are called Handam the Hero, Handam the Brave and Handam the Sheikh. And all three of them have top notch quality. I hope that you found this video interesting, if you did give it a like. And I also hope that you are going to join me tomorrow for your daily dose of some fragrance content. And until then, stay safe and bye bye.